So obviously this may be the last time that Dirk, you face Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki, and I'm pretty sure you watched his career growing up. What do you think about him as a player? Um, the legend, he's a legend. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that's the one thing that comes to mind when I think about Dirk. Um, just his history, especially staying with the Mavs and being here for so long. Um, it's, it's rare to see that now, um, but he's a legend. All right, so you guys are obviously going on in this year, and you're trying to make a big playoff push. What has the team done? Just to, you know, you guys had Tobias, and you had another player, yeah, Jimmy as well. What are you guys doing to make that push? Uh, I think everyone's just locked in. We, we realize we have six games left, um, and it's getting to a point where we do have to really figure it out um, and be on the same page. You know, once, once it comes to the playoffs. Can you share some words about uh, Nipsey Hussle? I mean, obviously he passed away yesterday. He's been a yeah, pillar I mean, in his community. No, no, no. I've met him a few times. Every time I met him, he's been you know, a, great, a great guy. So that's really sad to see. Uh, super sad. Sending prayers to his family, you know, his friends' family. Um, but I've only had positive things to say about him. Uh, and then yeah. who do you think is, if you had to vote, who would you pick for Rookie of the Year this year? Luca. For sure. Yeah. I mean, what, why was same reason as last year? The same reason. He's he's playing better. Like he's, his team's winning more games. He's playing. Trey Young is a killer. Trey Young is going be same as Donovan. But it's just overall, I think Lucas got down. I think the team's just playing a little better. Oh my god! And he's just doing a little bit more. There's a guy who uh, you know, runs the floor for this team um, when guys aren't in the lineup. I mean, is there like a, do you feel there's a need for you to like get a feel for more things you want to learn more before going to the playoffs? Like, can this period help you learn more about some of the guys you're playing with, lineup combinations, that sort of thing? Um, yeah, definitely. I think we're, we're all getting to that point where we're all locking in. Um, only a few more games left, so it's important that we all really buy in and get to a spot where we're comfortable. I was really looking at some of the highlights from that uh, All-Star game and the sound of Dirk saying thank you, Ben, after he hit that three <laughs> and, and you were playing too much defense on it. Like, yeah. Can you just relive that moment a little bit for us, especially with this potentially being Dirk's last year? Um, I mean, I thought it was cool he hit a shot on me. Um, <laughs> so hopefully he plays tonight. If not, you know, I'll have that moment of you know, Dirk hitting the three on me. You've talked so much about, like, how much of an impact he's had not on just you, but just international yeah. basketball overall, if that's Joe or any, any. Why do you think it's not just where he's from, but just internationally overall he's had an impact on the um, media? Because the NBA is a U.S.-based game, so we have more American players, um, and he's one of the guys who really you know, paved the way for everybody who's coming overseas um, to the States playing the NBA. Kind of a random question. Um, why is 25 your number? Family number. My dad wore it. Have you worn it your whole life? Uh, whenever I could, yeah. There's just been times when you have. High school, wearing. you can't wear 25. Um, yeah, college, I wore it. Okay. Thanks. Cool.